My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can connect UiPath Studio with Orchestrator. It's done in a slightly different way after the new update, but follow this guide and it will be, it will be very easy. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Let's get started. First we go to our uh, start menu here and we will search for UiPath Assistant comes up here, we'll open it, and here we'll see that we are indeed offline. So now we want to connect it. First go to your browser and then type in platform uipath.com, like this. Then we have a login screen here, I'll use my login, so let me copy paste that in. And you will of course use your credentials then we have logged in click services and then click your name and default here and now we are into orchestrator first what we're gonna do is that we'll go to machines here and we'll create a new machine so click the plus click the machine template and choose a name or just call mine on this machine call yours whatever you want and click the provision like that then we will go to robots here we will click plus new floating robot and we will again specify a name i'll call mine anders robot then under domain username go down to your start again and then press cmd command prompt that will open command prompt let me drag this in type in who am i and click enter then you will see a domain and a username here, and that's the one we're going to use. So copy, paste that into Orchestrator and click Create. Then click Environments up here, and we'll create a new environment. So click Add. This one could be on this environment, like this. Then we will click Create. Now mark your robot here and click Update, like that. Then we will go to our assistant here. We will click the settings icon, click orchestrator settings. And here we can see that we need to provide it with an orchestrator URL and a machine key. The URL is just everything in this address up here in your orchestrator down to your name and the default. So copy that one, paste it into the settings. Now we need the machine key. And to get that, click machines in orchestrator and then click this copy here. Copy machine key to clipboard, keyboard. Then go to your settings again, and now we can click connect. In a few seconds, we will see that we are indeed connected now. So, uh, and we can see here that we are connected at licenses. However, let's have a process uploaded. So we go to our UiPath. I created a simple workflow here that's just a message box that I wanna upload. So I click publish. Then I click just publish here. And we can see that it's published successfully. Then we will click OK. We will go to our browser. Then we click Processes here. We click the plus. And now we can add a process. And what we'll do here is that we'll select it. And mine was called Orchestrator Connect. So click that one. It's in my environment. And all the other inputs we'll just leave as they are. So then we'll click Create. And now we can see that we indeed created uh, the process here. We uh, can go to our UiPath Assistant and see that it's already there. So then we just click this install. Here. We'll wait a few seconds and now we can run it. So click start. We are starting now and now we can see that the message box come up. Hey viewers, we're now connected UiPath Studio and Orchestrator. That's it. That's how easy it's done. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a good day. Bye bye.